So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change your current working directory using Python. So hey guys, this is Bishwet. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So let's get started. So if you have watched my old videos, I have shown you how you can use the OS module to create path, how to navigate using the OS module. So here I will show you how you can change your current working directory. So let's take a small scenario. I'll show you my directory structure, which I like to do every single time. So let's suppose this is the current working directory that I am in. This is the particular Jupyter notebook file that I have opened, which is this particular Jupyter notebook file. Now inside that you can see there it's there is the fruits JSON file, which contains the details of fruits. And inside inside uh, this particular data folder, there is another quiz.json file, right? So this is a very simple scenario. So I will show you how you can change your current working directory. Okay. Now, first I'll try to read the file that is present in the current working directory, which is fruits or JSON. So let, let me show you how to do that. So it's pretty simple. I won't waste much time because I have already made videos on the JSON module. So before opening, I'll just check. Okay, this is the current working directory. So with open, uh, I'll open fruits.json, right? And as file reader, now here, what I will do, json file equal to json dot uh, load file reader, right? Using tab, we can auto complete. And now if you print, print json file, See, we are able to get the details of the fruits, which is pretty simple and straightforward, right? Now, what if I want to read this particular data that is quiz.json, which is present inside this folder? So even that is also pretty simple, right? I have shown you using the OS module, how we can create paths. So I will show you again. So I'll import OS instead of getting it over here, I'll do import OS. So now let me show you how to create the path os.path.join. Since we have the data folder, okay? So inside the data folder, we have, what do we have? What do we have, uh, which is quiz.json, right? So we I can write quiz.json, right? So if I do shift enter, it is data quiz.json, right? So this is the path we have. So now if I copy this path, right? If I copy this path, or let me do one thing, let me copy this particular code snippet, paste it over here. And if I copy this path and put it over here, so if I do shift enter, we are reading the quiz JSON file, right? So this is also pretty straightforward, right? So now you can see we have to, use our path to read the particular quiz.json, right? So we have to pass the whole path, which is over here. So now using this particular function, we can change our working directory. Okay, so we don't need to give this particular path. Fine. So let me show you how to do that. So it's pretty simple, os.chdir, which stands for change directory. Now, if I just try to go to data okay now if i do let me show you what my current directory looks looks like which is ls which is the current working directory which i have already shown you now if i do uh, let me get some screen yeah so if i now do os.chdir data okay if i do shift enter so you can see the execution is done now if i do ls uh, my bad. So if I do ls, see quiz.json. So now we are inside the data directory, right? So now instead of giving this whole path, what I can do, I can just give, I don't need this whole path. I can just give quiz.json. And if I do shift enter, see, we are able to get the data. So it's a, uh, it's a pretty simple thing. So this is how you can change your current working directory. So I use it less 
I use this particular path module more. So yeah, this is something good to know. So if you want, you can use it. So there is one scenario which I was about to miss. Let me show you what it was. So I have shown you how to change your current working directory. I mean, this is the current working directory. I changed it. Now this became the current working directory and these are the files that are present inside of it. Now I have shown you how to read it and this is the data, right? Pretty straightforward. Now, suppose we want to go one level back. We want to go like we are currently at this level, right? I want to go back to this level, the starting level, the starting uh, directory of uh, like our Jupyter Notebook file. How we can do that, right? So it's pretty simple, os.chdir, okay? And we, you just need to give dot dot and shift enter. And if I check the current working directory now, boom, we are back. We are back to the original directory we started from, right? And one more thing. So suppose you want to change your current directory. You can not only go to the next level, you can go, you can uh, change your working directory to as many levels as you want. So by levels, I mean, uh, let's suppose, let's suppose uh, inside data, I have another folder, maybe uh, ABC. Okay, I, I am running out of names over here. I have another data, maybe some names. Okay, and maybe here I have another data, which is uh, maybe some more names, right? And here maybe I have I have I have a file. Let's suppose let cre let's create a file. Uh, let's create a Python file. Okay, so. This is our current working directory. Okay, let me show you. Let's verify it. Yep. So this is our current working directory. We have data inside of it, right? If I show you inside data, we have ABC, names, some more names, Python file. We want to come over here. Okay, we can do it in one single step, which is os.chdir. Okay. And I want to come inside data slash. Okay. If I do to just, if I, if you just press tab, your ABC comes up, press tab, name comes up, press tab, some more names come, some more name comes up, press tab. Okay. There is, there is no more directory, right? So we are done. Shift enter, check my current working directory. Okay. LS. Boom, we are in the new Python file over here. So in one step, we changed to so many directories, right? Okay, I mean, that's pretty interesting. Now to come back, I think we have to use this. Is there any better way? Okay, I've never tried this. Is there any, any better way? Can we use this? Does it work? Okay, it doesn't work, fine. No issue, I didn't try this actually. So I guess to come to this levels back, we have to use dot dot slash dot dot slash. Okay. So dot dot slash is to come one level back from some more names. Now this is for names. Uh, this is for ABC. Okay. And if I do again dot dot slash, this is for data. Let's see what happens if I do shift enter. And if I do ls, yep, we are back to from where we started. Okay. So that explains it. So that's all for this video. If you like, if you found this video helpful, please press that like button and I'll see you in an awesome upcoming programming video.